All right. Welcome to the Don Reese Show with Marvel's Kids Out and About. Today we have a special guest, Wendy. She's a top talent manager here in Denver, Colorado. Welcome, Wendy. Where's my clappers? Yay! Okay. Hi, I'm reporting from down from Don Reese Show. Okay, that's gonna be a reporting for Don Reese Show, Marvel's Kids Out and About. So, I have a couple questions for you. Um, what brought you to work for Marvels? Um, actually, I was at a top five agency in LA, and then my family lives here, so I came back to Denver, and I called Karen, and she hired me. Cool. Um, what, do you have any of, like, favorite happy memories or funny memories while working? While working, funny memories while working. Um, I have lots of funny memories um, every day. <laughs> I'm trying to think of one in particular. My favorite thing, though, is when the kids book jobs and they get very excited and they do the happy dance and I can hear them over the phone, their excitement. That's awesome. I'm going to stop you for a second. I so how would you describe your job? My job is like a roller coaster. <laughs> it goes up and down. It's exciting. It can be kind of scary sometimes. Um, you never know what twist and turn is going to come around. Yeah. And um, I love it. It's fun. Cool. So, going off of that, how would you describe Marvels? Marvels, it's a great place to be. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Um, it cares about its talent. It's very professional. Um, it's very well known in Denver, and it's a great place to be. Cool. So, do you have any goals for Marvels in, in expanding it, or just goals? Yeah, of course. We want to be the best that there is, and my main goal is to get um, all of the talent here and the parents as professional as possible because. The more professional you are, the more the better chance you have of booking a job. People don't want to work with difficult moms or difficult kids. They want to work with people that are easy to work with. So that would be my my top goal. Going off of that, do you do you usually have troublesome kids that are sometimes a pain to work with? Well, you know, kids are kids, <laughs> and they're not perfect, and sometimes. You know, they, they're naughty sometimes, and sometimes they're good. You just kind of go with the flow. But um, the more understanding the kids have, the better behaved they are, the more chance that they're going to book a job um, is good for them. So do you, out of all the children you've worked with, has it changed your perspective on your life? Like, does it inspire you? Working with the kids? Of course. Um, the thing is, kids who, not every child gets the chance to be at the agency, and um, so it's an opportunity for kids, and I've learned that the kids who are part of the agency, they become more confident, they take more, they take better direction from directors, producers, adults, they learn about rejection, that they don't get every job they audition for, and, and that can translate to their life later on when they go for a job audition or a job interview um, and they don't get it, they'll understand that's how life works. <laughs> we're back. So how did you start in the business and how old were you when you started? I have been in the business many, many years actually. <laughs> Since I was probably about eight, I was um, Little Miss Park Lane and um, I did several things for different companies, photo shoots and things. And then as I grew older, I was involved in theater. In high school, we did different shows there. And then I had stars in my eyes, and I wanted to go to LA. I wanted to make a bigger career for myself. So I went there, and I auditioned for different projects. And um, But then, after I graduated college, I decided I wanted to work at an agency. And so that's kind of you know been my background. But I've definitely and I was at an agent. I had an agent in Colorado when I was about 15. Um, so yeah, I've been 
all over the place. Cool. So do you like that kind of stuff, like modeling and acting in movies and that kind of thing? I do. I think I liked it more being in front of the camera when I was younger. Now I kind of like to be behind the camera. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I definitely like it. It's fun. It's exciting. Um, okay, I'm gonna, we're back. their parent would need to call us if they're under 18 and then I would give their parent information um, about how the kids get started here and basically it's the kids who want to be involved who like this business and want to do it we want those kids here it just makes the process easier for everybody and um, that's basically it. The parents just need to call here, get the information, and decide if this is where they want to be. What's the average age you get um, of children calling in, children's parents calling in to um, be in Norms? Yeah, we, well, we represent babies. We have a babies division, we have a children's division, and we also have an adult division. So the babies are as young as one month. Tiny, tiny babies. And then, um, the main booking range for kids is between 7 and 12. So we get a lot of 7 to 12 year olds, and then we definitely get some teenagers too. Cool. Mm -hmm. You're back on. So what is your website and what's the best time to call? The, well our phone number, do you want our phone number? Sure. The phone number is 303-322-5004. You can um, visit our website, which is www.marbles an S, kids with an S, talent.com, and um, you can submit photos there and information that'll help us get you started. Cool. Thank you. It was really nice meeting you. You too. Um, thank you. This yep. is from Marvel Studio, and... Um, <laughs> and who are you? I am Hannah Kleiker. Okay. And I am from... I am a Marvel's kid. And um, I'm reporting from the Don Reese show with Marvel's Kids out and about. Right, in training, and I'll be right back. Okay, my turn. I'm the interviewer. <laughs> so, Hannah, tell me, um, why did you sign up for the summer camp? And what do you like about it? Why should other kids be a part of it? Um, the reason I signed up for it, basically, is because I love acting, and I'm looking for every opportunity to um, get further career in acting and um, anybody who wants to join it's a great experience it, it gives a whole bunch of information on different things so it's not it's not necessarily focused on one thing if you like to get a all-around um, learn and it's really just a fun experience okay great take two all right audience woo everybody <laughs> yay and we're back. Jeremy is our host. Quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. You're on. So, Wendy. Wait, Jeremy? Hi, Jeremy. Hi. <laughs> Action. Hi. Reporting for Don Reese show, Marvel's Kids Out and About, is the top talent agent in Denver. Oh, wait, I just take, take. Take three. Okay, quiet on the set. Everyone clap. Yay. Yay! Okay, and we're back. Hi, my name is Jeremy Anderson. I'm reporting for Don Reese Show, Marvel's Kids Out and About. Today we have Denver's top talent manager, Wendy. Woo. How are you, Wendy? I'm good, thank you. So, I'm wondering, what is it like being an agent? What is it like being an agent? Well, I'm not an agent. I'm a talent manager. Talent manager? Yes. And being a talent manager is very fun. It's a fun job. Love it. Wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Um, it can be kind of chaotic sometimes because you're doing a lot of scheduling. But uh, my favorite part about the job is when the talent books. It's fun. It's exciting when people book a job. Um, so, yeah, that's what I love about it. You're back. 
So can you give me an example of what type of jobs you post? I can. We, um, we book print, commercials, and film. Um, some examples are uh, one of our talent, his name is Murray. He just booked a feature film being shot here in Denver. It's actually a Hollywood film because of the tax incentives being offered a director from Los Angeles took advantage of the tax incentives. So that's being shot here and we're very excited about that. Um, another talent, her name is Kelly. She booked, um, she's actually an interviewer for a network that is, talks about movies, kids movies. So that was exciting. And we've booked um, music videos for kids. We've done different print work for um, ski wear, things like that. Lots of different fun, exciting projects. Back. So if I'm right, marbles represents adults too. Was that that's Lincoln, right? Well, we have marbles is the children's division and the babies. The babies and children are in marbles, and then the adult division is Lincoln talent. So, um, tell me this, who, what, how old is your youngest client? client? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The youngest client I have is about a month old. And what about your oldest client? Oldest client we have, he is about 75. Wow, okay, that's... Yeah, so it ranges. Anybody, you know, you can be a baby to an elderly person and still find, um, representation one and possibly book a job okay. action so what what is the reality of this business okay the reality of this business is you're not going to make millions and millions of dollars um if you're looking to find college money for your child that's not a realistic view um the reality is that for every 10 times we submit you will book once so you're gonna hear, this is the reality. You're gonna hear, no, 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 no. Then yes. Yes. No, 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 no. Yes. Yeah. Um, and it's very hard work, and I think it takes, you know, it takes patience, and um, but people love it, and you have to understand the reason why you're in the business to continue to be in the business. So. Would you have any tips for me as an actor? Mm -hmm. how, how to be successful, you mean? Or, yes. Okay. Well, coming from Los Angeles, the expectations are much more intense. And I'm hoping that I can instill some of those expectations in the talent in Denver. Because in LA, you are expected to have a headshot, an updated headshot. You're expected to have a resume. You're expected to have performance links, even publicity packets and things like that. And in LA, when you get an audition, it's considered a an opportunity, not a, um, a uh, what's the word I'm thinking of, Dawn? Network. When you, um, opportunity. An audition is considered an opportunity. Right. So here, as an actor, which you're doing a good job, um, you should have your updated headshot or head card, updated resume, a slate, um, your performance link, which we do, we have pro talent, and, um, and, and a good attitude, and professionalism, and by professionalism, I mean mind your manners, be easy to work with, be on time, um, Dress appropriately? Yes, dress appropriately. Listen to the directors and the casting and what they're asking you to do. Um, and pay attention. Mm -hmm. <laughs> pay attention. And um, I think that's a good start. Yeah. And we're back. So some people think just because they think they have great talent that they can get in even though they don't have a headshot or resume. So... In reality, how is how important is training? Training, training is very important. It is one of your tools. You have your headshot is a tool, your resume is a tool, training is a tool, and um, without training, you don't really understand what you're doing. 
you need to practice. Training is basically practice. The more practice, the more comfortable you get, the more natural you become. So people who say, well, you know, I'm so talented and um, I don't need training, they're doing themselves a disservice because they're not helping themselves excel to be better actors. Awesome. Anything else? Then? That is it. So thank you for watching. Marvel's Kids with Don Reese. We'll be back with another reporter. Where's my clappers? <laughs> Yay! Hi, this is Gunner reporting for Marvel's Kids TV show and um Out and about with the Don Reese show? Out and about with the Don Reese show. So. And who's your guest today? Um uh, Wendy. Uh, Wendy uh Top manager and here. Top manager for a talent manager. <laughs> right. I'm kind of confused here. That's it. You're doing great. Keep going. <laughs> and, um. You're going to ask us some questions. Yeah, I'm going to ask her some questions. Do you have your questions ready? Yeah, I have some up my sleeve. Okay, up your well, sleeve. Short sleeves. All right, you're on. Let's go. Um, do you have any expectations from kids when they uh, come into the Marvels? Into the Marvels building, or in, yeah, you mean when uh, they come to Marvels? Yeah, when they come to Marvels. I do, I do have an understanding of kids, their kids, mm -hmm. and um, they they need to have fun, experience doing this too. But at the same time, they need to be professional. And so, by professional for kids, I mean minding their manners. Um, like I said before, listening to the director, and just giving it their best, just having a can-do attitude and wanting to be the best that they can be. Um, well, have you any, have any um, bad students with uh, not know what they're doing, but just... Can I add that behind the camera? I think I know what he's saying too. If you have a parent that is overbearing, do you take that child if the parent is too pushy? Yeah. Mm. We, um, I don't really judge the parents or the kids um, as long as the parents are coachable. That's what makes a successful kid talent. The kid has to be coachable and the parent has to be coachable. If the parent is difficult, it reflects in bookings. They, those parents' kids never book really because they're just too hard to too hard to work with. Or they might book once, but then the client will, you know, might call me and say, you know what, Wendy, they they just were really difficult to work with, and, and unfortunately, we wouldn't want to see them again. Yeah. Um, well, um, one more, and we're back to commercial. I forgot, one. I forgot yep. one. That's okay. This is training and um, training. And Gunner is in training, so. <laughs> What advice would you give me? Yeah, what advice would you give me for um, uh, Marvel's Kid? Well, let's see, you're, um, you're pretty new, right? Yeah. So, there's a couple of things. One, you want to find an agent, a reputable agent, um, who's going to promote you. And two, you want to get some training. You want to start training so you can practice and you kind of know what to expect when you go on auditions and jobs. Anything in the community that you could do, um, get involved in that. And the other thing, my best advice for kids, you know what my best advice is and it's fun, is record yourself on camera, find a monologue, and record yourself on camera and then watch it back. Yep. Because when you watch yourself on tape, then you see, oh, that was pretty good, or what was that? I shouldn't do that on camera. Yeah, there's my phone. All right, we'll, <laughs> we'll be back. Okay, thank you. Everyone clap.